He's missing a few feathers there on his tail, his retrocedes, which means that a cat probably pulled them out when he was being caught. This hummingbird gets fed every 15 minutes. It's part of the intensive rehab needed to get him back in nature after someone discovered the bird weak and injured. He's far from the only hummingbird in need of urgent care. We've seen quite a few of these animals come in in the last two weeks with this cold snap. We've probably seen about two or three a day. Um, I remember the coldest day last week. I think we just saw about 10 come in in one day because of it. She's drinking now. Experts say it's not that the birds can't handle the cold, it's that feeders are freezing. Staff at Wildlife Rescue in Burnaby say if you have a feeder like this one, but you're leaving it past September without maintaining it, you may actually be harming the hummingbird population. If you don't have a hummingbird feeder up at all or ever, don't worry about it because there's no animals dependent on it. If you have taken it down before migration and so the animals have left, you shouldn't have to worry about it at all either. But if you leave it up past migration, the animals depend on it, so therefore you have a responsibility to keep it up. And it's not just hummingbirds. 50% of all their intakes this time of year are related to dirty or unattended feeders. Staff say most of these birds would have migrated south, but the increase of people purchasing feeders has changed their habits. If it, the hummingbird feeder freezes, the animal has no food source. So what they can do is they can either string lights around it to keep it warm. They can alternate them, bringing them inside and outside at night. The Animal Rehab Center is asking people to do their part. So if we're going to cause the problem, we have responsibility to take care of the care of the problem. So these animals are injured because of us. Luckily for this bird, he was found just in time. He's close to recovery. In Barnaby, Isabel Regem, City News.